Hey everyone, Samsung just had its big developer event, and they finally revealed One UI 7, which they're calling their biggest UI update ever. We got an early look at the Galaxy S24 Ultra running the new software, and it's packed with cool features. Samsung even gave us the official release timeline, so we know when we'll be able to try it out. Now, let's break down the major changes coming with One UI 7 based on Android 15. First up, the split notification menu. Samsung has separated notifications from quick settings. Now you swipe down from one side for quick settings and from the other for notifications. If you don't love it, no worries. You can still go back to the old layout where everything is together on one page. Notifications have a more rounded look and the arrow to expand them is now centered. Quick settings also got some tweaks, a smaller brightness slider with the volume slider right beside it. The whole design has a material U vibe, much like Google's Pixel UI and even has some iOS 18 influence, especially with the pill-shaped battery icon in the status bar. Moving on to the camera app, Samsung's redesigned it, shifting most of the controls to the bottom of the screen for easier one-handed use. No more awkward thumb stretches across the screen to switch modes or adjust settings, super convenient. Speaking of convenience, the app search bar has also been moved to the bottom, similar to iOS, a small but useful change that makes searching for apps much easier. Samsung also revamped the multitasking menu, switching to a stack-style layout, which was previously available with good lock. Now, it's the default setting, and it looks much cleaner and feels more intuitive to use. Now, one of the more noticeable changes is the icon redesigns. Samsung hasn't updated its icons in a while, but now they're more vibrant and colorful. The gallery app has a rainbow gradient behind the flower icon, and the camera icon looks more like an actual camera. Icons for the Galaxy Store, contacts, settings, and phone have also been freshened up, giving the UI a modern, lively feel. And let's not forget animations. Samsung says they've made big improvements here. Testers are saying the animations feel as smooth as iOS, which would be a huge leap forward. If Samsung can deliver on this, One UI 7 is going to feel more polished and responsive than ever. So, when can we expect all these changes? Samsung confirmed that the Galaxy S25, launching in January, will be the first phone to ship with One UI 7. If you want to test it out early, the beta program will open up in December. Overall, One UI 7 is shaping up to be a massive upgrade. Samsung is focusing on making the interface simpler and more user-friendly, while also giving it a fresh, modern look. I'm especially excited about the new animations and multitasking improvements. That's all for now. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more updates. And if you want to hear about a major leak on Samsung's S-series phones, click here to check out the next video. See you there.